What's up guys, Mimi G here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today we're gonna to be doing a sew along to my new simplicity pattern, 9740. Now this is not a learn to sew video, so if you are new to sewing, you might wanna check out my online courses at sewacademy.com. All right, let's talk fabric. So this pattern requires a knit fabric. That means you can use anything from a double knit to a jersey, a rib knit, or even a lightweight sweater knit. All right guys, I want you to cut your pattern pieces, cut your fabric, and interface anything that needs interfacing. And please remember to transfer all of your markings. All right guys, let's sew. All right guys, so on your pattern piece, number one, you should have had a little dot here. You're going to cut into the dot, but before you do that, you wanna go ahead and stay stitch on both sides, and then you're gonna to cut to the dot. Do not cut past the dot. You're gonna lay your pattern pieces right sides facing, and we're actually gonna start pinning at the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna start at the hem, and we're gonna sew using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance all the way up. Now I'm using a jersey stretch needle, but I'm not doing a zigzag stitch. I'm using a regular uh, length stitch because this is going vertical and it's not a horizontal uh, seam that's gonna go across your body, so you don't have to worry about the stitches popping. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. Now let's go ahead and head to the sewing machine. We're gonna start stitching at the bottom, 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. We're going to stop at the top. So go ahead and press your seam open, set this aside for just a second. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna grab your placket and on the unnotched side, you're gonna go ahead and turn 5 eighths of an inch and give this a good press. You're gonna do that for both of your placket pieces. Now once you press it, you're gonna go ahead and trim this down to about a quarter of an inch. Now you're gonna go ahead and fold along that fold line and you're gonna go ahead and baste across the bottom. All right, so once you have done both your plackets, go ahead and grab pattern piece number one, which is our front, and we're gonna go ahead and pin these. So with right sides facing up, you're gonna go ahead and align your notches and pin. Now we're gonna to go to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, you're gonna sew that other placket the same way. Once you have it, what we're gonna do is we're going to pin because we're gonna be stitching in the ditch. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure to press your seam allowances and you can trim them. I didn't trim both, I only trimmed one. You're gonna go ahead and press it towards your placket. You're gonna use your fold line to bring it over to your stitching line, just past your stitching line, and we're gonna pin this in place. Now you have basting here at the bottom, so if you need to open up your basting, at the bottom to go ahead and encase that seam allowance, go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and pin. You wanna make sure that your folded edge is just past your stitching line. So I'm gonna align it, but I'm gonna pin from the front. And you can sort of feel that folded edge to make sure that you're going to be catching it. You also, of course, obviously have the uh, option of stitching this by hand, but <laughs> why? So go ahead and pin. And since we're here, go ahead and do your other placket, pin it exactly the same. Okay, let's head to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch in the ditch. Okay, so once you've um, done both of your plackets and you have made sure that you caught the underside, okay, I'm gonna lay my left over my right, and then we're just gonna make sure that this goes to the inside. So I'm gonna just bring both of that to the wrong side, making sure that they're overlapped still. And you can pin it in place. Okay, once we have it to the wrong side, you wanna make sure that it's really neat. So first, make sure that that fold 
that they're folded onto each other exactly as they should and that both sides are flushed. Remember, you have those folded edges, so you want to make sure that they are both flushed and you can pin if you need to to keep it together. And then double check the other side. You want to make sure that that's flushed. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and stitch along the top straight across. Okay, our placket is done, so we're going to go ahead and set our front aside. We're going to grab our back pieces. All right, so I'm going to start pinning at the bottom. You should have a dot. This is our vent, so I'm going to pin at the dot. And then you're just going to continue pinning your center back seam. Okay, now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to start stitching at the dot working my way up using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, once you're done stitching your center back seam, I wanna point out one thing. If you're doing the long version like I am, then we have the vent. But as I mentioned early on in the video, if you're doing the shorter view, then you had a different back piece. It's sewn exactly the same. It just is shorter, so it doesn't have the vent. That's the only difference. Now we're gonna go ahead and place our front and backs right sides facing. And you're gonna go ahead and pin along the shoulders. You're gonna pin your other shoulder the same, and then we're gonna go ahead and pin our side seams. Once you've pinned both sides, you're gonna go ahead and stitch across your shoulder using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And then you're going to sew both your side seams starting at the hem and working your way up. Okay, so once you have your shoulders sewn and your side seams, we can go ahead and set this aside for a second and grab our collar pieces. Okay, so now we're gonna work on our collar. You have one non-interfaced and one interfaced. On the interfaced collar, you're going to go ahead and turn up your seam allowance and press. Okay, so once you have that turned and pressed, you're gonna go ahead and pin your pieces together, right sides facing. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and stitch our collar together. So you're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance all the way around our collar. All right, you're gonna go ahead and trim your seam allowance. I'm gonna cut a little bit there towards that little corner where we had to pivot. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your collar to the right side. Go ahead and poke out your corners and give this a good Press. Okay, so our collar is done. We're going to go ahead and pin it to our neckline. So I'm going to start at the center back. You should have transferred your markings, so you should have dots where your um, dots correspond to your shoulder seams. You're going to want to make sure that your folded edges are bunt up against each other and pin. You're gonna do the same on the other side.
Okay, once you have it all pinned, we're gonna go ahead and stitch using 5 8 of an inch seam allowance from one end to the other. All right, so we have our collar attached. You have two options to finish your collar. So the first option, as instructed in the instructions, is to slip stitch this closed. So you're gonna place your pressed folded edge just past your stitching and you're going to hand stitch this closed. Your other option is to do what we did with our placket and that's to pin it and then stitch in the ditch. Now generally, I would definitely want to stitch in the ditch. It's much easier, not a big fan of hand sewing, but my fabric is actually a little thick and because it's a rib knit on top of that, it might make my stitching in the ditch not as neat as I would want it to be. So in this case, I am going to slip stitch at least part of this and I'll do that at the very end. So um, if you're gonna slip stitch it, then you can just pin this in place for now. And after you're all done, which is when I'll do my hand stitching, you can go ahead and finish this. If you do, um, if you're working with like a lighter weight fabric, um, then you can definitely go ahead and pin this in place. And just like we did the placket, you're gonna make sure that the folded edge is just past your stitching line. You're going to feel for it on the right side and then you're going to pin on the right side of your fabric. And you're gonna do that all the way around and then you can go ahead and stitch in the ditch. So once you're all done with that collar, the last couple things to finish are the hem, our vent, and the sleeve hem. Okay, so I have turned um, my dress wrong side out. We're gonna go ahead and stitch together our vent, okay? So just from your stitching line here, across at this angle, you're going to stitch your vent down, then we're gonna turn it right side out again, and we're going to top stitch it. While you're still at your machine, go ahead and turn to the right side. Okay, once you have it nice and flat, you're gonna fold that over and we're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna just top stitch probably about an inch and a half. You just want it so that your vent stays still. Okay, once we have our vent finished, you're gonna go ahead and finish the hem of your dress and also around your sleeve. So if you did the shorter version, then you're not doing any of this. You're just folding your hem allowance and stitching it in place. Okay, if you're doing the long version like I am, go ahead and open out this side of your vent and you're gonna fold it over onto itself so right sides are facing along that fold or crease that you have. Go ahead and pin this in place. Now I want you to go to your sewing machine and you're just gonna stitch across the hem allowance, which is an inch and a quarter. So go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and resume. Okay, so I went ahead and trimmed some of this, especially that corner. You're gonna turn this right side out, poke out your corner. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna continue pressing that one and a quarter inch seam allowance, or hem allowance, I should say, all the way around. Give it a good press and then you're going to stitch it in place. Now you can do a double fold like this. So press it one and a quarter and then press it again and then stitch your hem in place. The last thing for you to do is your sleeve hem and you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to take that uh, hem allowance, you're gonna fold and if you want, you can do a double fold and stitch in place. Once you do that, you're all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you're following me on Instagram. If you're not following already, at Mimi G Style or on TikTok, also at Mimi G Style. I can't wait to see all of your makes. Until next time, peace.